Hello and welcome to another video guys. Thanks for watching again. Smash the subscribe button if you like these videos and give this one a like if you like it. But don't do it till the end so that you know you actually do like it. So in this video, a husband and wife team take a wood chisel and a hammer to this cow's foot. Let me know what you guys think of the video guys. I know what I think of it. Enjoy. Cheers guys. So as I said in the intro, these guys do take a chisel and a hammer to this cow's foot indeed. This is a homestead farm and I actually found this video on YouTube myself and asked the guys if I could share it. I think this is an amazing video, I think it's fantastic and what it actually shows, show, oh, sorry, showcases is cow hoof care in its sort of most basic element. The fact that these people don't have the facilities, they don't have a crush, the right tools or even the sort of right training. They are still doing what they can to make sure this cow is as comfortable as possible. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. Will it make her more comfortable and prolong her life? Almost certainly. So enjoy the rest of the video guys. I know I enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Muddy foot out of my way as I'm milking her. So I'm gonna have my husband do this while I videotape and you can kind of get an idea of how we trim the feet on a dairy cow. All right. So. You need to sit. Usually this is a one tap left, one tap left. Here she's gonna poop if you wanna get up. So as you can see, he's chipping away around the dorsal wall with this wood chisel. He's not gonna be taking anything off the sole, so he's not gonna be rebalancing the weight. But what he is doing is, he's shortening the toes and increasing the comfort from a, a breakover point of view. So a lot of people say cows don't have breakover points. I actually kind of disagree with that. If the cow's toes or claws were, say, 12 inches long, then she's not gonna be able to walk properly because when she goes like this, her toe's gonna catch the ground, isn't it? So by shortening these toes, they, are, they will actually improve the angle of the hoof eventually, not instantly, but eventually because the wear should be better because that breakover is much more balanced and more true to form. So like I said, these guys, they don't, they clearly don't have a huge amount of knowledge and they definitely don't have the right tools but what they're doing is inspiring to me to be honest there's cows that i go to with the best fertilities in the world and um, with maybe a thousand cows and they're missing these cows that just need that small touch just to improve the comforts ever so slightly well ever so slightly for us but massively to the cow so guys i really hope you've enjoyed this video as always click the subscribe button and give me a like if you like it also comment down below what you think the beveled end goes toward the cow. So the beveled end, he says, yeah, the chisel goes towards the cow, so it splits it away from the cow. Good cow jelly. You see her jump every time. Good girl. I'm angry. <laughs> There's actually professional cow hoof trimmers that go out to dairies and do this quite differently. They oftentimes put them in a sort of like a mechanical sling that flips them over on their side, if you can believe it. And then they have power tools and they can do it real fast. And you know, they, they know exactly what they're doing. But when it comes to just the home cow like this one, um, you know, we just maintain her feet like this. She's and check for nah. growth. No, nah. good. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. So this, with, you know, every cow's a little different. Some cows require more stuff. This cow pretty much just needs the tip of her toes taken off in the back usually. The fronts usually stay pretty pretty good. Now that one's not tied back, so just be, she can lift it. Move around more. Good girl. In that first chunk. Yeah, once you get that hard part off, you can like take little nibbles off of it. It's much easier. <laughs> so show them how you, if you push a little bit on her, okay. she'll put her. If I put my hand here, push on her hip, and that's she, her a little bit off balance. And now she's got to put weight down on this foot. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't think about it. No, it's okay. That foot's not as bad. I don't think as this one over here was. Good girl. 
It's gonna be easier for you to move around. We do this probably maybe once a year. I don't know, maybe twice a year. Easy. Good girl. I got under it. A little bit. Look at it. It's a weird growth pattern. Yeah. See the sole there sticking out? Just a wet line or it's a bruise. Yeah. Yeah. The older a cow gets, the more weird their feet get. Yeah. Just weight, like just like people. Just like people. <laughs> yeah. Their weight distributes on their feet over time and changes the shape of their hoof, the way the hoof grows out. You good? That you want to take more off this toe or? Maybe off the front. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Of. yeah. Up there. It's real thick through there. I think it can come down a little bit. Cows are really slow walkers anyway. And uh, this just helps her move a little faster because I can tell you, walking her around out here just, just takes forever. They used to shod. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. They used to put shoes on oxen. Because if you took a wagon train all the way across the prairie, you'd wear his feet out. Or his feet out. I like that. That looks good. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. She's being good. Yeah, it doesn't hurt her. She just doesn't like that initial. She shouldn't like being locked in with you. It doesn't hurt horses <laughs> either, but they kill millions, lots of shoers every year. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about millions. Yeah, I may be exaggerating. A little bit, huh? Uh, do you want to take more off this? If you want to. I think we've got quite a bit of space there before you're into anything important. You're a good girl. Be smart. Get away from me. <laughs> Took a little bit off. Okay. Awesome. Got a weird little growth going right there. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, I just already cut it off. You should do a video on our that goat. The what? The weird, with the goat, with the weird feet. The oh, goat that we caught. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. Found good. Go. Could have used the barrel. Yeah, yeah, I forgot it was up here. So there we go. Basically, that's what we're looking for. You can actually probably take a little more off right here. Where? I can't see. See this cut pulls in right here. You could probably yeah, go, was... go like yeah, I could do that. that. This is something we did every six weeks. Like I do more on the goats when they have problems. You wouldn't worry about little nibbles. But since this is kind of a big thing and it's a little more effort required. And we only do it once or twice a year. Kind of like to take off as much as possible without, you know, causing any kind of discomfort, so that uh, we don't have to do it again anytime soon. It's kind of akin to if anybody's ever been to the beach with flippers on your feet and you try to walk through the sand. Um, it's kind of hard. You know how you feel like you're going to fall over. Push on her a little bit. We're gonna put her on her, that other foot. So I can look oh, yeah. I'm just curious. Um, good girl. Um, it's kind of like that, yeah, you know. She's got no hoof wall growth down yeah, there. Yeah, so cows are almost all toe. Yeah. Um, at least all the ones I've owned. It's like walking with flippers on. You know, you feel like you're gonna fall forward in the in the sand. You have to walk real slow and like over move your your knees and your hips and everything. You gotta like overstep everything. So by taking the basically the flippers off the front of her toes, now she can walk a lot easier. And do the fronts or no? I, the fronts look pretty good to me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, awesome. Thank you, Lance. You're welcome. Yay! And I know Jelly Bean, you're not thankful, thanking him, but ultimately, you're, you're thankful. There he is, isn't he cute? He just had his horns disbudded yesterday. So he doesn't have big horns when he grows up and tries to stab us and kill us. This is all scrap bar. Yes, it is. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lance. Yeah. All right, bye. Anyway, so that's how we trim a, a dairy cow's, at least the back feet, um, here at home. If I were going to do the front feet, I would lock her in her head gate with the board. See her head gate's over here. And it can lock. And, sorry for the poop. It's been kind of wet and busy here. Um, she just calved a week ago. Anyway, these things lock like that. That little bolt rolls up, so her head's stuck in here. And so what I would do is I'd put the plywood right there and lock her in, lock her in the head gate here. So her feet would be right there and I could work on them a little bit more freely than in the stanchion. A stanchion's super duper tight. 
as you can see, there's no room on the one side, only the one side, the left side has access to her and you can't get to the front at all because it's up against a wall. So anyway, that's uh, hoof trimming 101 on the farm. <laughs> Go on. It's funny, I said in another video how cows have got these two, um, two senses or two um, attitudes and one's, ah, what's that? And one's, ah, what's that? Just now it's, ah, what's that, look. They're all round about me, look. It's basically an audience, isn't it? Basically. Hey cows, what do you think? <laughs> you having a wee sniff? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Wonder what the hell I'm doing, don't they? This one's sniffing my butt. 